everyone and welcome back to another video. We sincerely hope that you are having a wonderful day. If you enjoy today's presentation and find it informative, please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video and share the content. Today's video subject, 10 things cats absolutely hate and why. Cats love to leave their mark. They have to have their little spots. This is instinctual. Even house cats that have never spent a single second in the great outdoors must claim territory as their own. This is why cats often hate it when their territory is under threat. If something or someone has invaded their property, they'll get in a huff for sure. Going out on a short limb, I'd say 70% or more of all cat fights are about territory. You were standing where I wanted to stand, you know, something along those lines. Claps of thunder, fireworks, those doors slamming, banging and clanging in the attic. These are prime examples of loud and relatively unfamiliar noises that can startle a feline. Loud noises can cause great fear and anxiety, causing even the toughest cat to retreat to a safety spot and hunker down until some level of peace has been restored. Similar in many ways to unfamiliar loud noises, Unfamiliar people can also throw some cats for a loop, especially house cats that only interact with the same folks each and every day. Cat owners, let's be honest, we can get away with a lot of nonsense because our cats know, hey, it's us. They trust us. However, introduce some random person, ugh. once again, it's time to hunker down until peace has been restored. Cats, those of a vibrant and healthy nature, well, they're clean freaks. And the sight and smell of a dirty litter box is quite unappealing. A messy litter box can cause a feline to seek other restroom options. This can cause great frustration, especially for house cats that really don't have other suitable options. So keep that litter box clean. It'll make your pet quite content. For every cat that just loves a good car ride, some absolutely hate it. Yelling, clawing, attempting to get out of their carrier if they're in one. If you've ever taken your cat to the vet and you know they hate car rides, I'm sure that trip was the longest of your life. Personal fun fact here, I also hate car rides. I pretty much can't go anywhere unless I'm driving. If I'm a passenger, uh, look out. I get dizzy and nauseous. Just for the record, I have to be driving. So cats of the world, hey, I understand your pain and frustration. Car rides, if you're the passenger, they can be quite brutal. Cats, well, they just love to be in control. And if you have ever had to administer medicine to your cat, most notably any type of liquid through means of a syringe, well, this places the cat out of control. Unless a cat is very, very ill, they'll attempt to fight this action, at least to some degree. Once those jaws clamp down, it can be a chore to hold a cat still, open up the hatch, and administer the medicine. Here again, it's all about control and your attempt to take it away. Most cats, they just don't want to be messed with in this fashion. Unfortunately, at times, like several things on this list, it's a necessary evil. Cats hate to be petted? What? Yeah. yeah, well, they do, at least at times. When too much of a good thing goes sour, you could find yourself on the receiving end of some claws. Some cats will get the zoomies, just too much physical stimulation. This can result in a variety of actions. You'll be petting your cat, and then the next thing you know, ah, claws are coming out, bite to the neck, vampires. <laughs> when you're petting your cat, piece of advice, always be mindful of that body language. The worm can turn in a great big hurry. I'm sure many of you watching know exactly what I mean. Some cats, well, they just have a, let's just say, a bit of a wild hair. 
While this one is a bit lighter compared to many others on this list, some cats simply hate being ignored. They'll do most anything to get your attention, and this includes attempting to occupy your personal space and or meowing up a storm. Always take time out of your day and give your cat positive interaction. As I've said in previous videos and materials, your cat should never just become another object in your home, like a piece of furniture. There's a difference between having a cat and owning a cat. Always make time for your pet and fulfill those ownership roles. You'll actually be able to get more done at home, both personally and even professionally, if your cat is content. You don't want to be, I don't know, filling out your taxes or something equally important and have your cat on the table messing with you simply because you ignored them a bit earlier. Make time for your cat and you'll likely have more time for yourself. Cats are creatures of routine, uh, not big fans of change. Everything has to be in the same order to keep the peace. Here again, cats are quite anxious animals. Even moving a plant or just a random piece of furniture five feet to the left will potentially cause your cat to investigate the situation. Of course, if it's something big like moving entirely, well, that is a massive change. This is why it's always so very important, regardless of what's going on, to spend quality time with your cat, as we just mentioned. Good cuddle and petting sessions. Give your cat positive reassurance. Cats are far less likely to fall victim to long-term anxiety if they know that you are still on this journey with them and serving as the role protector and provider. Stale cheeseburgers. What about a stale Coca-Cola? Are you a big fan of either? What about lettuce that has been sitting out for hours? Mm, sounds great. You pass on that too? Yeah. Cats agree. They're not big fans of stale food and or stale water. This can make cats grumpy and anxious. If your cat is turning its nose up at what was offered, do a quick time check. When was it offered? Freshness and portion control should always rule the day. Give your cat only enough food and water to eat and drink in one sitting. They're more likely to engage, enjoy it, and then be quite eager for the next round a few hours later. Plus, this process will help you to save money. The last thing you want is to find yourself throwing out food each and every day. I've had cats in the past that really didn't seem to mind the rain for whatever the reason, but we all know the old stereotypes, right? It's got to make the honorable mention, right? Getting getting wet, cat in the rain. I mean, just look at the cat we use for this thumbnail. Right on the screen there. What do you think that cat's thinking, right? Getting all bathed and cleaned up. Just look at that face. Not happy, not happy at all. That cat probably going to send a nasty email right after this video is over. Not a happy camper. So, that'll do it. What did you personally think of this list? Was it good? Are there a few things that you'd add that were not included and what do you feel that your cat or cats, well, what do they hate the most? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. Positive dialogue is always encouraged. The floor is officially yours. And once again, feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if this type of content is of interest to you. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.